Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised that the following program contains images of people who have died. The Commonwealth Games. It's a big, important competition featuring a bunch of sports like the ones you'd see at the Olympics. And now, apparently, this one too. The Games happen every four years, and each time they take place in a country that's part of the Commonwealth. This year, that's Australia. All right, guys, let's play Stuck in the Mud. Only 53 countries are invited to compete at the Commonwealth Games because they are, you guessed it, members of the Commonwealth. This includes some countries you might expect and some you might not. But the story of how this random group of countries actually got together to compete can be traced back to one team in particular, England. Positions, everyone. And play. As far back as the 1500s, the English were traveling the world, laying claim to many of the places they came across. Their aim was to make international trade easier, spread Christianity around the world, and make some money. Over the years, they established colonies in dozens of countries, over six continents. In fact, by the early 1900s, the British Empire covered a quarter of the world. But it's important to remember, in many of these countries, like Australia, people were already living here when the British came ashore, and they weren't happy about the new arrivals. Indigenous Australians lost their land when the British arrived and were treated really badly. The negative effects of this are still being felt today. Throughout the late 1800s and the 1900s, countries colonised by Britain started arguing they should be allowed to govern themselves. They started breaking away to become independent. But some countries had a hard time ousting the empire. For example, it took many, many years before India finally achieved independence. Over time, the British Empire was dismantled, but in its place, a new relationship was formed, the Commonwealth. It was originally called the British Commonwealth of Nations and it was created in 1931 as a way for countries with past ties to Britain to work together freely and voluntarily. And as an added bonus, they compete with each other. Every four years, the 53 Commonwealth member nations fight for gold, alongside some other territories that aren't technically independent nations. All up, you'll see 71 teams aiming for the winner's podium from all corners of the globe. So now you know the story behind this seemingly random group of countries that are set to take on Australia at the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast this year. Just don't expect any of them to be playing this sport. Well, not yet, anyway. <laughs>